My name is Robert Thompson and I'm a violinist. I currently live in China and I've been on tour for the last three years, performing around Europe and the United States. I just moved to China to get married and now I live in the Yunnan province, which is very close to Tibet and Vietnam. Recently I was on Philip Greenspan's blog where he was wondering about a charity that said if you gave them $250, they would give a water buffalo to a poor family in Asia. But then the fine print said there was no actual water buffalo and that it was merely a symbolic gift of what $250 would buy. Where I live here in China, I see water buffaloes every day, you know, walking down the middle of the road. I went out and asked some farmers what they thought and they said it would be quote unquote the best gift and they told me the price of a water buffalo is about one year salary for them. So I drove back and I told Philip what I learned and I guess he began to wonder what if we got a real water buffalo for a real family? And he wrote me back and said, if I and my business partner Craig send you some cash, can you go out and buy one? And I said, yes. So I drove to a little town called Dajuan and I tried to do it. This is the work that a farmer has to do in order to cultivate the land if he doesn't have a water buffalo or machinery. Okay, we just uh, we found a place to, uh, to buy a water buffalo for Philip, and I think it's just right over here, so we're going to go check it out. See all the people that are assisting us today. This is our entourage. If he's uh, five years old, how long can he work? He can work for 15 years. I've seen a few today, and this one looks like the best one, so I think we'll get it. So all we have to do now is find a uh, family, a family that could use this water buffalo, and then we're done, we're finished. So we had to find a family, and in order to do that we had to contact an old family friend, sat down with him, and we asked him who could use a water buffalo, and his first thing he said was, you know, there's a lot of poor families in Dajuan, almost everybody could use one. He did go on to tell us about one family in particular, and he said about 30 years ago a man came to Dajuan to marry his wife and to find some work. They had a son together and they lived with the wife's mother. Years later, the son got married and had a little baby girl of his own, but just around the same time, his father passed away. Just after the little girl was born, who is about three years old now, the wife committed suicide by eating pesticides. Even though the family had no money, the son wanted to bury his wife and buy a tombstone. So he went to the bank and took out a loan for 2,000 kwai renminbi, which is just a little over 200 US dollars. The bank now visits him frequently and asks him to pay this money back. We brought the water buffalo to the Su family in Dajuan, Yunnan. After we explained why we were here, the grandmother, Su Pei Lan, 
with her little granddaughter at her side, was speechless and in shock. She couldn't believe the magnitude of this gift and kept repeating, meaning literally, I'm not emotionally prepared to take this. We kept telling her over and over again, this is a gift from some people in the United States. It's a gift. They want to give it to you. Thank you. Thank you. She said, this gift is too much. It's too heavy. I think God has helped our family today. For farmers in Dajuan, it's considered disrespectful to cry in front of guests. That's why she walked inside of her home. Yang Jiajian, the great grandmother in this family, is 86 years old and she's a blind woman. She said, in her entire life, she has never received such a big gift, even from her own family. As she held her bamboo stick, she too was overcome with emotion and softly repeated, I'm a dear, or oh my God. The granddaughter, Su Jingmei, doesn't understand that her mother's gone and her happiness reflects the innocence of her age.